Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, we're sitting in the room where I put up the uh, honey-colored curtains, and uh, they really, uh, the other curtains that I got do not look right in this room, so I had no choice but to use these in this room. So I'll give y'all a look. Now, any suggestions would be appreciated. Uh, I did go ahead and put up the lace. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this or not. I might need to wait till it gets darker. But anyway, I went ahead and put up the lace curtains halfway on the window just because the view is of the road and the roof. So uh, it's not much of a view. So I like it better with these uh, lace curtains up because there's our telephone. Excuse me, y'all. Mr. Bucky got it. He he was out working in the garden. I, I guess he's in now because the phone quit ringing. Anyway, um, so... I've got a dust ruffle on the bed, which I'm really strongly thinking about taking off. Uh, there's, uh, on the little pillow shams, there's that extra little thing around the pillow sham. I don't like that. I, my intention was always to take that off and to sew it up with just the other part showing. And uh, I need something for the wall over the dresser, not a picture, but something. And I need something to put on the dresser here. Now, this uh, bedroom suit was uh, Mr. Bucky's grandmother's. It's uh, mahogany, and but she got it in, I think, roughly the 1930s because when I was refinishing it, I turned over this little nightstand here, and it said 1930. So I'm thinking that's when, it, when she got it. But she had some other uh, stuff that was much older. Okay, so let me see. Maybe if I turn this lamp on, that would be a little better. Not much, though. All right, so I'm going to give you all a look. We'll just hold on. We'll go to the front, the door here. And now, let me turn the camera around. And there's what it looks like. See, there's too much light outside even now to film this. But anyway, maybe it'll straighten up there. So there you can see the curtains. The windows are all sparkly clean now. So we got four windows in here. There's the bed, and there's the dust ruffle I'm talking about. I actually don't know why I put that on, because I usually have the bed spread on without the dust ruffle, and so you can see that little board that uh, runs along the bottom of the bed, which is mahogany, too. I just like it better that way. Anyway, yeah, these are the curtains, y'all. They were cheap curtains, and I lined them uh, by ordering sheets, uh, twin bed sheets, and they're polyester and cotton sheets, and uh, lined each panel with that. So anyway, we've got a fan in here too, of course. And in this room, we've actually got the entrance to the attic. And when we were painting this room, we just painted that door out so, you know, it wouldn't be so noticeable. But we've got a full attic here. It's just not finished. It does have a floor in it and insulated. But anyway, here's the dresser I was talking about. I need something to go over there, just that bare wall. And I also need something to go on the, uh, this little, what do you call this? Not a bureau. I don't know what you call this. I think the name was Bureau years ago, and it's got a little uh, stool with it. And of course, uh, Bucky's grandmother would sit there and put her makeup on, yeah? She wore makeup right up to the end, and we got this chair. Now, the chair didn't, it was not his grandmother's. We got that uh, at an antique mall several years ago, and I refinished it and recovered it. So I thought that chair looked pretty good in here. And by the way, the lamp was his grandmother's also. That's not the original shade, but the lamp is from the early 1900s. I don't know exactly when, but anyway, she had had that. We actually have a picture of her and her husband. They're sitting at a, beside a table and that lamp sitting on it. All right, so y'all, this is what I was talking about on the pillow shams. I want to take that off and just have this around it. All right, let's go to the next room. All right, I want to give you one last look. There are the curtains some paintings I did hopefully trying to go with the room. I'm not sure they do, but they're there. And there are the other curtains. 
show you up high. Yeah, that looks better there. Anyway, the color of the curtains is called Honey. And they are cheap curtains, but they were the only ones that had what looked like the right color to me. I looked through every curtain I could find online, and none of them looked like the right color, but I think this pretty well goes with the bedspread, this color. They were just cheap, and I had to line them myself. So, all right, we'll be back in just a second. Okay, here's the other bedroom. Now, this was the boys' room, and previously we had twin beds in this room. This is an antique bedroom suit we got in the 1980s, I guess. And that's an East Lake rocker. And there are the drapes. And this color is called Stone. I mean, I really just didn't have a whole lot of choice on the color. And I really think that the gold curtains would have looked nice in here, too, because the rug's got gold in it. That doesn't really show up but on the camera, but this color on the background in this rug is gold. Anyway, so this has got a dresser and a washstand with it. And then I've got my tools in here because I'm getting ready to... This is a collapsible wardrobe, and we're getting ready to sell that. I don't know if we should leave it in here until we show the house or not. I'm not sure, because I really wanted to take the bed and move it here where this is. We had it there one time before, and it looks pretty good there, but I'm not sure if we should not, maybe not sell the wardrobe until we really sell the house. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a collapsible uh, wardrobe. That top comes off, the doors come off and the sides in the back and then you have the bottom part of it and that stays together it's really nice i think they did them that way so they could move them easily maybe from room to room or from house to house anyway i think you can see the curtains a little bit better now i really do like these curtains they were of course more expensive than the curtains in the gold bedroom now you see how far they are from the floor i'd say they're a good two inches from the floor maybe an inch and a half and that's because I couldn't put them down any further because we got a little uh, piece of trim work on the window there. So you can't really put the curtain rod any further down. All right, so while we're here, I wanted to show you uh, Mr. Bucky's got someone that's going to come and cut this tree, which is really sad. This is a golden oak. And when we first moved here, it was just a little baby, but it had a double trunk and the lightning struck it and killed it a couple of years ago or killed most of it and so now we've got to have it cut the whole thing which is kind of sad and i'll show you mr bucky i don't know if you can see let me see if we can see this window can y'all see mr bucky's been working out in the garden he's about halfway through now yeah he's got those rows and we got the wood chips now so we had to pull out some of the soil because we had too high a zinc level. And so we're going to just actually buy some dirt and put in there. Anyway, so that's what we've been doing, y'all. Give y'all another look at the... Hey, there's me. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, I don't know. Should I leave this in here or not? I, I, I mean, I think it actually looks better... I don't know. Anyway, that's covering up also the fireplace hearth is right under there because there's a fireplace behind there and one in the master bedroom too. But the previous people that lived here before us covered up the fireplaces and we just left them that way. But anyway, yeah, the bed really looks good right over there where that is. So I'm thinking we might want to go ahead and you know, dismember this, take it apart, get it downstairs, and put it on Craigslist or something. I don't know. And this is turn of the century, maybe late 1800s, as is the bed and the dresser and the washstand. And this, of course, is not that old. I made this at a pottery class uh, where you paint it, and, you know, they fire it up and everything many years ago. Anyway, this has got the original hardware on it. All of this has also got the original hardware on it. 
and the original beveled mirror is in there. All right, y'all. So this is this room, and uh, I guess I need a plant in here. I don't know. I don't know what I need, but see how uh, this doesn't have a dust ruffle with it, and see that wide board there at the bottom? That's what I like about the other bed, when you can see the board at the bottom rather than a dust ruffle. That's what I'm thinking. Let's go have another look at that dust ruffle. See? I'm just, I, I'm not liking that dust ruffle. I don't think I've ever had it on there for more than two or three weeks at a time before I always end up taking it off because the bed, the bed spread was very expensive and I think the dust ruffle makes it kind of look, I don't know, cheap? I don't know. All right, y'all, I'm going to go now. Of course, we have been having smoothies every morning. Let me lean on this because I'm tired. And um, I know I was going to have the curtains done for sure by Saturday, but what happened was... I had not put up curtain rods in quite a while, and I forgot everything in this house is heart pine. It's like drilling into steel, okay? And as a result, when we had to drill a hole, well, it, first of all, before you nail anything, you have to drill a hole to get it started. And uh, so I forgot that, and I didn't use the uh, steel um, drill bits. And so it took me all Saturday. Anyway, we will see y'all next time. Bye.